Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. Now, make sure to stick until the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 8 to the power of 9 plus 8 to the power of 9 plus 8 to the power of 9 plus 8 to the power of 9. So now to solve this, I'm going to first start by factoring out 8 to the power of 9. So now I have 8 to the power of 9 times. Now 8 to the power of 9 divided by 8 to the power of 9 is simply 1. So I have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Now if I simplify it to the parentheses, I get 8 to the power of 9 times 4 because 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. Now to solve this, I'm going to make both of these terms into the same base. So 8 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. And 4, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So now if I replace these two terms with 2 to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 2, I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 9 times 2 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 9, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times 9. So I have this times 2 to the power of 2. Now, 3 times 9, that's equal to 27. So I have 2 to the power of 27 times 2 to the power of 2. Now, what I'm going to do to solve this is if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m plus n. So now 2 to the power of 27 times 2 to the power of 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 27 plus 2. Now 27 plus 2, that's going to equal 29. So now I have 2 to the power of 29. And this is my answer. So now if we want to simplify this a little more, 2 to the power of 10, this is the same thing as 1024. So 2 to the power of 20, this is going to be simply 1024 squared. And now I have what's left is 2 to the power of 9, which is equal to 512. So 2 to the power of 29, this is going to equal 1024 squared times 512. Now 1024 squared, I'm actually going to use a calculator to find that answer because doing that is just a waste of time. That The value of that is 1,048,576. And now if I multiply this by 512, I get 536,870,912. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 2 to the power of 1,000 minus 2 to the power of 999. So now to solve this problem, I'm going to first rewrite this as 2 to the power of 999 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 999. So 1,000 I just rewrote as 999 plus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m, plus n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So now 2 to the power of 999 plus 1, we can think of a as 2 in this case, m as 999, and n as 1. So now this is going to equal a to the power of m, so 2 to the power of 999 times a to the power of n, so 2 to the power of 1. 
and now I have this minus 2 to the power of 999. Now, to simplify this, I'm going to factor out 2 to the power of 999 because both of these terms have 2 to the power of 999 in them. So now I have 2 to the power of 999 times, well, 2 to the power of 999 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 999 is simply going to be 2 to the power of 1. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of 999 divided by 2 to the power of 999 is simply 1. So now, 2 to the power of 1, well, this is the same thing as 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 999 times 2 minus 1. Now, 2 minus 1, this is simply going to equal 1. So I have 2 to the power of 999 times 1. And this is equal to simply 2 to the power of 999, because anything times 1 is itself. So 2 to the power of 999 is our answer. All right, so I have 3 to the power of 20 plus 3 to the power of 20 plus 3 to the power of 20. Now, for this problem, I actually have four answer choices. So for answer choice A, I have 3 to the power of 60. For answer choice B, I have 60 to the power of 20. For answer choice C, Sorry, for answer choice B, I have 9 to the power of 20. For answer choice C, I have 9 to the power of 60. And for answer choice D, I have 3 to the power of 21. All right, so let's first go over all of these answer choices. So for answer choice A, 3 to the power of 60, how you get this is you simply keep the base the same and you add the exponents. So you have 3 to the power of 20 plus 20 plus 20. And 20 plus 20 plus 20 is 60. So this results in 3 to the power of 60. And this method is actually wrong because that's not the way to add exponents. So now for answer choice B, what you do is you keep the exponent the same and you simply add the bases. So you have 3 plus 3 plus 3 to the power of 20. And 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, so I get 9 to the power of 20. And this method is actually wrong as well, because that's not the right way to add exponents. Now for 9 to the power of 60, you do both of them. You add all three, you add all the bases and you add all the exponents. So then this results in 9 to the power of 60, and this method is also wrong as well. So now for our final answer, which is the right answer. How you get this is, well, first start with 3 to the power of 20 plus 3 to the power of 20 plus 3 to the power of 20. And now from here, I'm going to factor out 3 to the power of 20. So now I have 3 to the power of 20 times 1 plus 1 plus 1. Now, if I simplify some parentheses, I get 3 to the power of 20 times 3. I can write this as 3 to the power of 20 times 3. And now 3 here. This is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, this is going to equal 3 to the power of 20 plus 1. And now this is equal to 3 to the power of 21. So this is my answer.